A conversation between myself and Derek, yes. who thinks my art major is stupid. <laughs> Tell me how you really feel, Derek. That the art major is impractical, a waste of money, a joke made up by the academy to cover for children with overactive imaginations. Okay, fine. You win, Derek. We creative people will just leave. We'll leave your stupid, boring existence and we're taking all our stuff with us. You won't be needing it, right? So go home from your job in investment banking, strut about your beige, tasteless apartment, and roll around in your bathtub full of money. But when you get bored, Derek, take a look around at this brave, new, artless world that you've bought for yourself. Oh, you have a date tonight with Becky? You should take her out to that cool new restaurant in your safe but edgy, gentrified neighborhood. Open the door for Becky, pull out her chair, Chat for a few minutes about the Excel spreadsheets you did all day. What's this? The waiter hands you a blank menu. You look around and everyone's just staring at their empty plates because you forgot that it takes creativity to make food, Derek. And this is just the beginning. Pretend to be cultured by taking her to a museum. Crack jokes about dumb modern art while you saunter into the bright white space and how strange, Derek. The walls are empty. <laughs> also, there are no walls because architecture doesn't exist anymore. <laughs> oh, how about uh, fancy cocktails? No, Derek. Uh, a play? No. Uh, salsa dancing? No. Uh, a concert? Nope. Try again, Derek. <laughs> Just keep it simple. Becky's not that hot anyway. You'll just, uh, Netflix and chill. Oh, wait, sorry, Rick. No Netflix, just chill, just chill. Oh no, with no creative people, there's nothing fun to do anymore, huh? Well, at least you can still go outside and enjoy the simple beauty of the sunset, right? Wrong! God was the original art major! Look at yourself, Derek. You're floating in the uncreated void. No sound, smell, image, no nothing. And you're naked. Because no one is there to drape your ungrateful dad bod in the clothes they lovingly designed. This is where I leave you, dear. You poor creature. The time has come for us to part. Oh, and come to think of it, because your existence hangs in the balance of my art, when I forget this poem, you'll be gone.